New Delhi, with WhatsApp revealing that Indian scribes and human rights activists were among users targeted by an Israeli spyware. The government on Thursday asked the Facebook-owned messaging platform to explain the breach and list of measures that have been taken to safeguard privacy of millions of Indians. Ad Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad tweeted that the government is committed to protecting the privacy of Indian citizens. He asserted that government agencies have a well-established protocol for interception which includes sanction and supervision from highly ranked officials in central and state governments for clear stated reasons in national interest. The government of India is concerned over the breach of privacy of citizens of India on the messaging platform WhatsApp. We have asked WhatsApp to explain the kind of breach and what it is doing to safeguard the privacy of millions of Indian citizens, Prasad said. Government of India is concerned at the breach of privacy of citizens of India on the messaging platform WhatsApp. Slash slash G. Ularado slash Mahali Elk, Ravi Shankar Prasad, at Raprasad, card hitting out at the opposition, Prasad said those trying to make political gain out of it should be reminded of bugging incidents in the office of former finance minister Pranab Mukherjee during the UP regime, as also spying over then army chief general VKC. Those trying to make political capital out of it need to be gently reminded about the bugging incident in the office of the then eminent finance minister Pranab Mukherjee during UP regime. Also a gentle reminder of the spying over the then army chief Gen V. K. Singh, Prasad said. Earlier on Thursday, the Congress alleged that the Prime Minister Narendra Modi government has been caught snooping after WhatsApp said journalists and human rights activists in India have been targets of surveillance and urged the Supreme Court to hold the centre accountable over the issue. Facebook-owned messaging platform said Indian journalists and human rights activists were among those globally spied upon by unnamed entities using an Israeli spyware Pegasus. WhatsApp said it was suing Enso Group, an Israeli surveillance firm, that is reportedly behind the technology that helped unnamed entity spies to hack into phones of roughly users. These users span across four continents and included diplomats, political dissidents, journalists and senior government officials. However, it did not say on whose behest the phones of journalists and activists across the world were targeted. The Information Technology Ministry has meanwhile sought a detailed response from WhatsApp on the issue and asked the platform to submit its reply by November 4.